It's back to school 2021 season. Yippee, it's gonna be a great school year. It's gonna be a great musical year. I can feel it. You know, we're back to in-person lessons. We're back to in-person classes. This is a great thing for all of us musicians as teachers. I, for me, I'm like really excited to see my students in person, you know, full time as opposed to last year where it was kind of in person, kind of not in person. So this is a great, great time for all of us. If you're an adult beginner or if you're a parent or even if you're a young beginner watching this video, then you've come to the right place. My name is Eric and I'm a violinist. I do a lot of violin tutorials and I create content around the violin and classical music and other music genres. Since we're in back to school, that means you gotta get specific books. You gotta get specific accessories. You gotta get specific everything. So you've come to the right place because in this video, I'm gonna share with you the essential things for every beginner violinist uh, for the school year. 2021. Let's get right into it. But before we do that, my name is Eric. I'm a violinist. I do a lot of violin tutorials. I do a lot of violin content and classical music content on this channel. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so that way you get notified for when new videos come out. It also helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. Like I said, if you're an adult, if you're a beginner, uh, whether you're an adult beginner or a parent or a, a young beginner watching this video and you're looking for things to purchase before your first music lesson, well, again, you've come to the right place because I'm gonna share with you some essentials to get. Depending on who your teacher is, they might go uh, the traditional pedagogical route or they might go the Suzuki route. And that is uh, book number one that I want to suggest to you is Suzuki. Uh, Shinichi Suzuki was a Japanese pedagogue and uh, violin pedagogue and what was so great about his method is that he incorporated talent education in music and talent education and music education kind of go one and the same in uh, the Suzuki method and I think that's what's so brilliant about the Suzuki method. I teach the Suzuki method when it comes to young beginners like five and up and once we get to like Suzuki book three and slash four we start you know exploring different repertoire, you know, outside of the Suzuki repertoire. But if you're a beginner, like I said, Suzuki is a great, great option because you have a lot of options in um, learning styles and everything. Another great book that I would pick up is by Barbara Barber, Scales for Beginner Violinists. I think scales and arpeggios are essential, especially in their early development as a violinist. And uh, some teachers like to do this differently, you know, some Teachers like to go full Suzuki and then introduce, you know, full two, two octave scales, three octave scales later on. But that's also incorporated in the Suzuki book. However, I think it's a good reference point to have in case the Suzuki book material is kind of easy. Like if you feel that like the, the Suzuki book scales and arpeggios are a little on the easier side, then you can approach this book because it gives a lot of great descriptions. Miss Barber does a lot of uh, great tips, especially in the, like in the advanced scale book. I think this is a great option for any violinist who's looking to be more in tune, looking to have uh, better results in their violin playing. Another thing that I recommend you get is some rosin. And I'm gonna leave a link to the Gustav Bernadelle rosin down below. It's a $10 rosin and it lasts you forever. I've used this Bernadelle rosin throughout my collegiate years. It is a great rosin for any beginner. It's not too expensive. Uh, that doesn't break the bank, but also not too cheap where you're gonna have a, a tough time making a beautiful sound. Gustav Bernadelle is a, is a great option for anyone looking to improve their sound as well. Before we get to the last item on today's list, today's sponsor is The Violin Podcast. The Violin Podcast is where we interview violinists from around the world. We talk to them about their journey with the violin, uh, various interviews with different violinists, and we're officially in season two of The Violin Podcast. So be sure to check out the link in the description below for you to subscribe to The Violin Podcast. Last but not least, this is very, very essential. You wanna make sure that you have pencil and paper because what's so critical about violin and studying the violin and music education is no different than what you would do in school. You know, we have to write homework in our assignment notebooks. Well, that's the same thing. However, what's so crucial is that you only meet with your private instructor once a week. That's all you have time for. And you have to make sure that you're writing everything down. On, on a piece of paper and and it's really, really crucial for you to get that on the piece of paper for what your teacher is saying. And that's it, those are your essentials. It's not much, but those are the basics in you starting your violin journey in 2021 
back to school edition. If you liked this video, hit the like button. And if you want to subscribe, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. So that way you get notified for when new videos come out. And like I said, I do a lot of violin content and classical music content on the channel. And these videos are really, really great if you're starting your journey on the violin. Thanks so much and check out other violin videos on the channel. I'm sure you'll like them. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one.